Shalom to the elect. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior. <laughs> yes, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. His name is Yahweh Shai, whom we are patiently waiting for. Now let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Salutation, peace to the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth, feeding the sheep as we family, we patiently wait for the second coming of our King, the Redeemer of Israel. I just want to bring this out quickly through the spirit and power of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. And to you, the hopeful elect, I say shalom. I pray that this uh, lesson eh, find you in perfect peace as the Lord continue to pour his love upon us to tell us that we should what? Hold on. Hold on, I'm coming. And family, the news just keep getting better and better and better. Eh? It's like family, just picture yourself at all you can eat buffet. Eh? You walk in there and all your favorite meal, anything that you can think of, is on the platter. Hey, it's added on the table. Hey, it's like I always compare this to what? It's like a fat kid at a candy store. This is what the Lord is doing for us in this last days, family. I, we can make this up. Hey, but hear this. Let's open it up with 2 Ezra chapter 16, 35. Hey, it says, hear now these things and understand them. Understand them. Okay, it says knowledge and wisdom. You can have the knowledge, but if you don't have the wisdom family, you become useless. You need to know how to move. And when you receive this message, it says, hear now these things and understand them. Ye servants of the Lord. It says, behold, the word of the Lord. Receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Hey, he says, don't worry about what the nations are saying. Whatever book they have, family, they cannot predict what is going to happen in the future. But we have one power. His name is Yahweh. Hey, and his only beget begotten son is what? Our Redeemer. The only begotten son of our power. Hey, his name is what? Yahweh Shai. Hey, and these are the only two powers that matters. And all the nations and their God, they cannot predict what is going to happen in the future. Family, let's honor the Lord again. Hey, Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. It says, I am the Lord, Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. Hey, because all these nations, what do they worship, Father? Graven images, that's what they worship. Hey, it says, behold, the formal things. Hey, before it happens, it says, the formal things. Says, behold, the formal things are what? Are come to pass. And new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. The Lord already said what? He will not give his glory to what? Anybody. Before it comes forth, he tells you of it. And now, family, what did the Lord say? Let's go to the book of Isaiah. No, Jeremiah 49, 20. It says Jeremiah 49 20. Family, this precept continues to pop out every week now. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 20. It says here, therefore, hey, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he have taken against Edom, self proclaimed white men, the Edomites. Today they call themselves Europeans, Italian, the French, American, the British. That's why right. they are the same people. They are the one ruling. That's whom the Lord Yahweh is coming to visit. He says here, and his purpose that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, the son of Eliphaz, the grandson of who? Esau, Edom. Eliphaz is one of Esau's son. Hey, that's right. Teman, the Amor, modern day Germans. They are the same people. Hey, they all come from what? Esau, Edom. Esau's name was changed to Edom. He said, surely the least of the flock, which is Amalek, the one living on the land right now. The least of the flock. Let's look up the least, family. Let's look up the least of the flock. What did that, the Lord says? The least of the, the flock is what? It's the Hebrew word. Strong's age, 68, 10. Hmm? Sahir. Sahir. 
Sa ir. Look at how the Lord is Second entry. Sa or. Sa or. Sa or. But let's find a family. Third entry. Oh, wow. Sa ir. Sa ir. Sa ir. Okay. That is the least of them. Let's find it. It says little, insignificant, young. Amalek is what? That's right. Hey, I think Amalek was, uh, came out of what? Uh, Esau's uh, cock combine. That's right. Hey, that's right. one of the side check. And that's what they are the one called occupying the line right now. That's right. The big, the big nose, the small heart, they are Amalek. It's a little insignificant, young, little insignif insignificant. Mean young, younger, youngest. That is, that's the Amalek. The Lord says what? The least of the flock. The, the insignificant one, the one that who's not important, and but he's gonna draw all these nations into what the valley of Jehoshaphat. That is what you are witnessing right now. Now, finally, the good news is European Union agrees to military use against Yemen. That's right. You see, the Lord says what the least of the flock is gonna draw everybody into this war here, and this is gonna be the end of their kingdom. That is why we are lifting up the name of our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. Hmm. This is what this the family he is pouring his love upon us. Family is like family is like I said, it's like all you can eat buffet. We can we can help it but to prophesy and eh? to tell you that this is the Lord's doing. Hey, it says here, let me go back. Let me go back. Finally, this thing is so good. Hey, again, let me take my time and soak it all in. It says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he, Yahweh, have taken against who? Esau, he himself proclaimed white men. And the elite, because for me, the average, uh, the average Joe, the average uh, so-called white man have no clue what is happening. But the elite, the ones that are controlling the world, they are shaking in their boots because they said they can't believe this. Hey, look at these niggers, these Negroes. Hey, what did they know? Actually, everything that they are saying is coming to pass. No, 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 no. It's not us. It's the Lord. We are just the mouthpiece that he has raised up in these last days. Hey, the Lord can turn a stone to teach this word here. That's how powerful the Lord Yahweh is. And that is why, family, we don't take this thing for granted. If the Lord put the Spirit upon you to preach, family, you give honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh. We know that we are nobody. Hey? All glory, honor, praise go to the most high Yahweh and our king, the redeemer of Israel. Listen to this. I'm going to take my time. Hmm. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he, the Lord Yahweh, have taken against who? Edom. And, and his purpose, and his purposes, it says here, that he have purposed Against the inhabitants of Timon, modern day German. Surely, they said, surely the least of the flock, which is Amalek, the small heart. Today they call themselves JEWs. That's right, big nose, the one that controls everything. Hollywood, financial system, eh? entertainment, and eh? the media, they take it all over. That's right. The least of the flock shall draw them out. Mm. He's going to draw all this nation into what? Into the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is what? The so-called Middle East. Surely he, that's right, the least of the flock shall make their inhab habitations and eh, their countries desolate with them. So all these European countries, mm -hmm, family, all this, all this, yeah, that's right. That, that it's going to be east against the west. It's in Kittadik, remember that? That's right. And this is the Lord's doing. But who's causing all this? This is all still what? It's all about what? Gaza, right? Because the Yemenis are saying that what? Stop the genocide and we will stop, we will stop bombing your ships, right? And then America said, no, no, no. I don't want Israel to stop the genocide. Rather, I'm going to gather all my European friends and my European nations to come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is the Lord's doing, family. That's right. Mm. This is the Lord's doing. Listen to the headline news, family. <laughs> the Lord is amazing. The Lord is amazing. He said the bullet, European Union, and this is from Hal Tenner, breaking, breaking news, family. European Union agrees to military use against Yemen. European Union member states agree on military campaign to secure merchant shipping in the Red Sea. This means a military action against Yemen. 
European Union member state, 27 European Union member states, agree on military action in the Red Sea. European Union states have reached an agreement in principle to launch a military operation to secure merchant shipping in the Red Sea. Breaking news. Family, we give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Before it happens, he tells you of it. Yahweh Shai is coming, and he's going to be in the midst of Third World War. We know certain things have to take place, including the microchip. Eh? It's all coming together, family. Yes, the Lord told us, when you hear rumors of war, eh? Eh? those rumors are going to be active war. It's not going to be rumors anymore. It's going to be World War Three. That's what is coming. And we say, Barakata Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai, our salvation draweth nigh. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 9. It says, For Esau, self proclaimed white man, is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Yes, we, the hopeful elect, the so called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans, we are about to become the slave masters. That's what is coming. Yes, let that sink in. Take your time. Let that sink in. What does he mean by slave masters? Yes, all the nations are going into captivities. That's what is coming. I'm just going to give you one precept so you can so you can let it sink in. Let's go to the book of who? Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, quickly. I want this thing to sink in. And Jeremiah chapter 30. I'm going to go to verse 16. Let it sink in. Yes, I said it. Eh? But this is what the Lord said. It doesn't matter what I say. It says uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 16. And therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. We who devoured us, that's why the Lord lists them in the book of Psalm 83, all our enemies, the one that benefited from our fall. That's why the Lord said we're going to devour them. And let's look up the word devour for a second, family, in case somebody doesn't know what devour means. Let's look at the Hebrew word. It's what? It's a call. Strong's H398. Ooh. Achel. 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 It says here, to eat, devour, burnt up, fed, and eh? hmm. of oppression, to be eaten by men, to be wasted, destroyed. That's right. That's what you did to us. To be consumed. That's right. You are going into slavery. Think about all the things that you put us through when you had us in captivity. Think about that. Esau, Edom. Think about the lynching. Take, given, uh, using our, our babies as alligator bait. Using our skin to make leather pouches, belt. And eh? sending, uh, sending uh, trophies to your, uh, your friends. Eh? Having our balls in a jar. Eh? And then sending it out to your friends. That's right. Putting your best suit on on Sundays just to watch us being lynched. That's right. That's what you did to us. But let's go on. Let's go. Let's go back. It says here, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries. And the book of Psalm 83 lists all our adversaries, our enemies. And every one of them. He didn't say some of them. And your so-called Moab, sorry, the so-called Chinese. And the so-called East Indians, your, the, the Arabs. Every single one of them, all the nations are going into captivity. Hey, that is what is coming. That is why we rejoice when we see this headline news. Because we know that our, our salvation draweth now. Let's continue. It says, every one of them shall go into captivity. You know what captivity means? Let's look up that word. In case nobody knows what captivity is. Let's look it up. What does captivity in the Hebrew word is what? Strong's Shavi. age, 7628. Shevi. Shevi. Captives. Captivity. Capture. Let's look up the root word. Mm, mm, mm. Precious stone in the priest's breastplate. Probably an agate. Okay. All right. So you got a point. Hey? It's slavery. That's what it means. You are going into slavery. It says captivity. It says, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. This is what is coming for the rest of the nation. That's right. And that is the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Not the sweet 
bother the nonsense that the few do in plantation Christianity. Eh? Family, another news outlet also confirmed this because family, you have to verify the news. Eh? You got to see who else is reporting on this. Family, when it came through my feed, I said, Bless the Lord Yahweh, but Hashem Yahushai, because things are escalating. European Union agrees on Yemen mission. Listen to the nations. Italy, France, and Germany. What does that sound like? That's why right. these same people that went against Libya, Iraq, and eh? Afghanistan. That's right. But this time, it's going to fail spectacularly because the whole Arab nations are waiting for them. Mm -mm. It's not just, it's not going to be like Iraq. Oh, no, 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 no. This is it. The end of the Western Empire. We are telling you, through the spirit and power of our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, the kingdom eh, of so-called the Western civilization is coming to an end. That's it. This is it. This is it. Italy, France, Germany reportedly want to send warship to the Red Sea. Foreign ministers of the European Union have reached a tentative agreement to start a naval mission in the Red Sea. European Union foreign policy head Josef Borrell announced on Monday, which is today, after a ministerial meeting in Brussels. Germany, France and Italy have proposed to step in response to requests from the Netherlands, whose merchant ship has been impacted by the month-long Houthi attacks on vessels linked to Israel. Yeah, they are not talking about the genocide that's going on in Israel, though. They are not criticizing Israel, though. No, let Israel continue to drop bombs on pregnant women, babies, children. It doesn't matter. You see, that's right. That's, that is called, that's called Western civilization. That's right. Eh? Western values. That's what they push. That's Western values for you. Yes, that's why the Lord said wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And we can't wait for the Lord, Yahweh, to finally come and put these animals down once and for all. That's what we are waiting for. And to set up a righteous kingdom. Eh? That's what is coming. A righteous kingdom. Yes. So yes, European Union, 27 members have agreed to send their ship to Levan, the Middle East. We say Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And this is the name of the new mission. Family, listen to this. Are you ready? Huh? It says the naming suggests a long term campaign against the Houthis. The outlet has said. So, US names Yemen operation. Let's, let's go there and, and get it. The Pentagon mm, has dubbed its campaign of air and missile strike against the Houthis of Yemen operation Poseidon. You hear that? Poseidon Archer. CNN reported on Monday citing two unnamed officials. The name has been applied retroactively to the January 11 attack carried out by the US and the UK, as well as seven more rounds of strike since the official said. So I said, let me look at the word Poseidon. What does Poseidon mean? I went to etymology online. It says the Greek god of the sea and earthquakes. Hey, that's right. These are all their idols. You know, family, they can't fool us. They can't fool the whole field. Like, no, we are coming through to you, the spirit and power of our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Our beloved apostle, to how we say, the apostles starting from our head, apostles, and eh? great, he says, make sure you look up your words. And we try our best to look up the words. And eh? he says here, family, it is great. It is, he says here, the Greek god of the sea and earthquakes one of the chief Olympians, a brother of Zeus, Greek Poseidon, a name of certain origin related Poseidonian. Yeah, it's a Greek god, family. That's right. That's what the operation is called. Mm? Yes. Yes, family. You can't say the Lord don't love us. Mm? The name has been applied. I just, I just read that. The U.S. launched Prosperity Guardian to secure the passage of merchant ships through the Red Sea and what? And that Babel Mandeb, after, after the Houthis said they would interdict any Israeli linked ship in solidarity with Palestinians in Gaza. After the January 11th attacks, the Yemeni group said that British and American vessels would be fair game as well. So, family, things are escalating. We say all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He says here, how Turner reporting, Yemen hits another U.S. ship with ballistic missile. Eh? That's today. 
Um, these are the images coming in, but our, our tenor is trying to confirm them. So yes, things are escalating in the Middle East. And we say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukwakodash. Now this is coming from Sportnik. It says here, NATO steadfast defender exercises threaten European security. Yeah, family, it couldn't have, it couldn't have come in the worst time. Eh? Over 90,000 troops about to uh, participate in this exercise. I think it starts this week. It says here, rather than try to de-escalate the, the already high tensions in Europe, the Western military bloc, NATO, which stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization, proudly announced its intent to launch massive military exercises in the region involving around 90,000 troops. Yes, to prepare for what? Russia. And we say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha Kodash. But it says here, as Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko has explained, this military exercise are another element of the hybrid war unleashed by the West against Russia. With any event of such magnitude increasing the risk of military incidents and further destabilizing security in the region. That's right. This war will never be the same because what? This is the beginning and the end of the Western Empire. And the Roman, the last leg of the Roman Empire, it is finished. You see, this is the Lord's judgment. Finally, that little season in Revelation 20 is about to be fulfilled. It was supposed to be for what? Maybe now it's, I think we are in the 500 year. They came back in the 1400, the Renaissance. Eh? But now this is it. Esau kingdom is coming to an end. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. It says what? Well, let me go. Before I bring Isaiah. Mm, mm, mm. Before I bring Isaiah, let's go to the book of... Um, Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Oh, it's becoming my favorite. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 7, verse 8. Eh? Hmm, family, you, you're going to know why it is my favorite. Ja, eh? It says here, surely. No, 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 no. That's not it. Uh, is this Ecclesiastes? I think it's 7, 8. No? Oh, yes. It's 7, 8. It's right there. Ecclesiastes 7, 8. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. The end of Esau's kingdom. The end of our captivity. Eh? It says better is the end of a thing. Which is what? Our captivity. Eh? This is it. We're no longer going for no more slavery. From here, we, Lord willing, Yahweh Rattus, willing, we're going to receive new bodies, family. We're going to rule in new bodies on this planet here. Kingdom of heaven is going to be set up on this planet here. Eh? That's right. That's what is coming. He says here, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and the patient in spirit, meaning suffering. That's us. We are patiently, we are prisoners of hope. Family, prisoners of hope. That's why we are patiently with. Because it's easier for us. Because when you've been at the bottom, you live in the ghettos, family, your communities is filled with all types of drugs. Eh? You're waking up to gunshots every night. Eh? The family, yes, we are used to it. But guess what, though? It's coming to an end. But when you are living in a mansion and you have all these servants, you have security guards, you have family, you can have anybody deleted by picking up a phone call, and eh? you never go to jail, and eh? you're never in trouble like others. Eh? And then, family, it is hard. it's going to be more difficult for you eh? to what? To go to the bottom because you've been at the top all your life. Eh? Nobody is able to say no to you. But now, all of a sudden, you're going to go from the top to the bottom. You know how hard that is? That's what's about to happen to the elite of this society. The billionaires, the trillionaires. That's what is coming for them. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit, which are what? The, that's us, the hopeful elect. That's right. The meek, the lonely. Is better than the proud in spirit. That's Esau Edom. He's the one thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to take on Yemen. Look at this small nation, Yemen. Look at this. Look at us, we Europeans. Look at the, all the military might that we have. Look at our wars, our ships. Look at it. Nobody can say no to us. We're going to destroy them. They didn't see what we did to uh, Iraq. Look at what we did to uh, Saudi, uh, what is it called? Uh, Afghanistan. Look at what we did to Libya, Sudan, Syria. Who can stop us? Vietnam, who can stop us? 
Yeah, but this is it. This is it. That's the proud in spirit. Nobody can bring us down, Obadiah 1. No, Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man. This is it for you. This is it for you. The kingdom is coming to an end. But family, let's go to the book. Let's finish here. Isaiah, eh? Isaiah 34. Eh? Isaiah 34. Let's see how far we can go. We can read a bit here. God's, the most high's wrath against the nation. Eh? It says, come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people of the earth. Here and all that is there. And actually, you know what, family? Let's read the NLT. Let's read the NLT. Eh? It says here. Hmm. It says, come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my words. Hmm? For the Lord, Yahweh, and hear his word, because the Lord speaks through his men. So we're telling you what the Lord is about to do. Eh? We're telling you. And we don't mention our word. We're not telling you that the Lord is coming to sit around with everybody and, and ask, ask you to pass the hot sauce and everybody, have you had enough to eat? You have an ice cream? You had enough barbecue? No, no, no. He's not coming to do that. No. He sent his men out here first to tell you what he's about to do. The Lord doesn't talk to you. He talked through his men. That's right. And we're telling you, he's coming to destroy. He's coming to destroy your society. That's what is coming. And establish a righteous kingdom. Because you haven't ruled the world well. Mm -mm. You have destroyed everything that he created. You became so proud that you thought whatever you are doing is better than the Lord. The food, the way we're supposed to grow our food. No, you said, no, 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 no that's not good. Rather, you have taken the food, you've taken it to the factory, and eh? you add all type of chemical, package it, and eh? give to people to eat. And then what? That's right. And then when they get sick because there's no, there's no nutrients in this food yet, you send them to your pharmaceutical companies. That's right. That's what you do. Esau, eat them. That's right. That's why everybody is sick. Everybody's tired of your rulership. And the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, is coming to remove you. It's that simple. That's what it is coming to remove you because you are the wicked. You play your role to perfection. Actually, you went extra. You should win. You should, he should give you an award. But the award is going to be in the form of missiles. That's what is coming. He says here, For the Lord Yahweh is enraged against the nations. His fury is against all their armies. You hear that? All their armies. Nobody is going to be spared. Not Russia, not China, not uh, Iran, not Libya. They're going to use those nations. He's going to use those nations to destroy America and the West. And Yahweh is going to step in and level everybody. That's right. He's going to destroy everybody. And especially America. That's right. America is the altar of the Lord. That's the lake of fire. He's going to save that for last. Because, yeah, it's going from the east to the west coast, from the north to the south. <laughs> He's going to burn. He's going to burn. He said, for the Lord is enraged against the nations. His fury is against all their armies. He will completely, completely destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. You hear that? He said, they are dead, they are dead, they are dead. The slain will be left unburied and the stench of rotten bodies will fill the land. Are you listening to this? Does this sound like the Lord is, is this soft, you know, coming to just, no, 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 no. The Lord is enraged. Yahweh is pissed off. He's going to remember everything that you demons did to him before you crucify him or the, the way you guys mocked him. He's going to remember that. When you slapped him and asked him to prophesy, who's, the Lord is going to remember because the same demon, the same Roman Empire, they are backing their Lord. It's called reincarnation. Remember he told you. He says, who is it? He says, he come with the cloud and all eyes shall see him, including those that pierce him. We know what that is written in the book of uh, the Revelation 1, 7. Because including those that are piercing. Meaning what? Reincarnation is real. The same demons that beat our king, tortured him, eh, mocked him. That's why right. the same demons are back in their lot. And they're going to remember. That's why he's not coming to play. We're telling you before it happens. It says here. It says, the heavens above will melt away and disappear like a rolled up scroll. That's when those nuclear missiles hit. The stars will fall from the sky like withered leaves from the grapevine or shrivel figs from a fig tree. And when my sword has finished its work in the heavens, it will fall upon Edom. 
That's why Isaiah 63 also tells you, who is, who is this that come from Edom? That's why we die garment. That's our king, Yahawashai. He hates Esau. And self-proclaimed white man. He says, it will fall upon Edom. The nation I have marked for destruction. You hear that? The nation he has what? Marked for destruction. So the fact that you are joining the party in Yemen, oh, family, this is great news. He says here, and when my sword has finished its work in the heavens, it will fall upon Edom. The nation I have marked for destruction. The sword of the Lord, Yahweh, is drenched with blood and covered with fat, with blood of lambs and goats. That's how he's describing the nations. He, he compare you to goats. Because what do you do with goats and lambs? Sacrifice. That's right. You sacrifice them on the altar. And that's what it's about to do to you. And he says here, with the blood of the lambs and goats, with the fat of the rams, prepare for sacrifice. Yes, the Lord Yahweh will offer sacrifice in the city of Basra. That's America. From the east to the west coast, the north to the south. That's why a lake of fire. That's what Yahweh Shai is bringing. He says he will make a mighty slaughter in Edom. Even men as strong as wild oxen will die. The young men alongside the veterans, the land will be soaked with blood and the soil and rich with fat. Are you listening to this? This is what the Lord is about to do. You see, over time, people forget. People, there's no fear of the Lord. But this is what he's preparing to do to America. That's right. You can believe it or you can choose not to believe it. It doesn't matter. That, like Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans 3, what if Romans chapter 3 verse 3 says, what if some don't believe? Should their unbelief make the work of the Lord non-effect? It says, no way. Let the most high be true and every man a liar. It doesn't matter whether you believe what I'm saying. It's going to happen. Because the Lord said the word that goes out of his mouth will not return to him void. The Bible, whoo, family, huh. You see, that's why, I think, what's it? Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt said what? The true knowledge of the Bible is worth more than any college education. And here you don't need 150,000 US dollars to get this education. No, 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 no. The Lord gave it to us free. It's free. Give us the understanding. Give us the spirit. Hey, to break it down. Hey, Barakataya, how about Shabi Yahweh? Shai. He says, even men as strong as wild oxen would die. The young men alongside the veterans, the land would be soaked with blood and the soil enriched with fat. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. Are you listening to this? The northern tribe. That's why you call them what? Yeah, the natives, the native Indian. Yeah, you took the land. All the treaties that you signed with them, you didn't keep any one of them. You pushed them in, onto a reservation. You put drugs in their communities. You destroyed them. And then the southern tribe joined you. Benjamin, Judah, and Levi joined you through the transatlantic slave trade. And guess what? You showed them no mercy. But hear what the Lord says. It says here, for it is the day of the Lord's revenge. Who is he coming to? Eh? Who's, who's he coming to destroy? Let's find out. He said the year when Edom, self-proclaimed white man, today he called himself European, the British, Canadian, Af the, yeah, the, the Portuguese. Yes, look at me. I'm European. I'm Caucasian. Yeah, the, you are Edom. Esau Edom. Eh? Will be paid back for all it did to Israel. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans, Caribbean, those are the children of the Lord. That's right. They are Israelite, the apple of the Lord's eyes. And you know what you did to them? You showed them no mercy. And he said, the streams of Edom will be filled with burning pitch and the ground will be covered with fire. Because yeah, east to the west coast, when it's all said and done, it's going to be a desert. Only animals are going to live on the soil of America. He said, this judgment on Edom will never end. The smoke of its burning will rise forever. The land will lie deserted from generation to generation. No one will live there anymore. So if anybody is telling you that, you can build a bunker in America. Eh? And you can hide it. You can hide in there during the Third World War family. Go, go, to, go to South America, whatever. Go, go buy land somewhere else. Go to Africa or something. Go dig a bunker in Africa or somewhere. But the soil of America, I'm not talking about the elect. I'm talking about if you're an Edomite. Eh? If you're an Edomite. It's so-called white. No, don't, don't build a bunker in America. No, don't take my advice, though. 
But the elect, you have no way. The elect, all you have to do is stay tight. The Lord is going to deliver you. You are part of the elect. You have nothing to worry about. You're going to be delivered. You don't need to fly anywhere. But you are an Edomite. And you are the two tests living on the soil of America. Ooh, you're going to be fuel for the fire. Hmm? It says here, verse, 30, verse 11. It says, it will be haunted by the desert owl and screech owl. The great owl and the raven. These are the animals that's going to inhabit America. They're going to take over the land. You hear that? It says, the great owl and the raven. For the Most High will measure that land carefully. He will measure it for chaos and destruction. And it says, it will be called the land of nothing and all its nobles will soon be gone. Thorns will overrun its palaces. Nestles and tessels will grow in its forts. The ruins will become a hunt for jackals and a home for owls. Desert animals will mingle there with hyenas. Their, owl, their house filling the night. Wild goats will bleat at one another among the ruins. And night creatures will come there to rest. There the owl will make her nest and lay her eggs. She will hatch her young and cover them with her wings, and the buzzard will come, each one with its mate. Such no, that's it. So, family, let's go into something else. That this book cannot be compared to any other book. Indeed, it cannot be compared to any other book. But so, family, again, Isaiah sixty six said it. It says here that says the Lord. Isaiah sixty six verse uh, verse sixteen. Is it verse fifteen? No, verse fifteen. It says here, for behold. The Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind. He's coming with thousands and thousands and thousands of chariots. He saw self-proclaimed white men call them what? That's why right, UFOs. That's how the Lord is coming. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. The kill, the Lord is the slain. Let's look up the word slain. Let's look up the word slain of the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Hal, is this Hal, uh, Kalal? Strong's H2491. Halal. Halal. Slain. Fatally wounded. Pierced. Fatally wounded. Slain. Family, you get the point. Eh? That's what the Lord is coming to do. So, yes, this is just the beginning stages of it. European Union is now about to join the war. Family, this is the end of an empire, the end of Esau's rulership. And this is it. It is over. There's no recovering. Money-wise, financially, they are broke. That's how the Lord set it up. So they're going to collapse the system, hoping that after the Third World War, they're going to build back better. But no, they're not going to build back better. They're all going into captivity. That, that is what is coming. So yes, this has been a breaking news. Yeah, family, when it just drop in my feet, I'm like, Barakata Yahawa Ba'ashem Yahushai. Europe is about to go against Yemen, America, the West. And yes, the whole Arab world is waiting. This is the biggest trap that the Lord is setting for Esau, Edom. And he's going to fall right into it. Nobody... Is able to resist the will of the Lord. Yahweh is waiting to take over the kingdom. Eh? And the king is coming to set up his righteous kingdom. A new government. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Eh? Unto us a child is born. Eh? And that child is who? Yahweh Shai is coming to set up his, his, his kingdom. The government is going to be upon his shoulder. Starting with the, the uh, King David directly under him. And then you're going to have our 12 apostles and the 144,000 governors. Man, the kingdom is going to be beautiful, man. So, beloved, this is just a gift that I continue to give. Eh? Just, just keep giving. Eh? We can, we, the Lord is just spoiling us in this last day. He is just spoiling us. Prophecies are coming to pass. Eh? He's just, just spoiling it. Wait till we get into the kingdom. He says, eyes or ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared. Eyes have not seen or ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. Man, we can only imagine, man. Even whatever we imagine, the kingdom is going to be family. It's going to, it's going to far exceed our imagination. Eh? The Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, is going to come through for us. Huge, Yahweh, Ratazah. 
Lord willing, man. How we're willing. Anyway, beloved, I'll leave it there. I hope you were edified because family, I get it. I'm excited when I see these things here. Yeah? When I see the news, I hope I hope you feel the same way. I hope you edify and you know, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Lukakudash. Please don't mind my silliness. Yes, I get excited about the word. You know, I just can't contain it. You know. The water for tuning in and uh, again all praises on and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Lukakoda, Shalom.